This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in Centennial, Colorado. I'm here with SBF Solutions. Since 2013, they have been bringing mobility to life. I'm here with Stephen and Kyle. Stephen, let's begin with yourself just a little bit. Um, as the founder of the company here, President, what is it that got you involved in this particular industry? Share with me a little bit about your background. So my background's a little bit eclectic. Um, yeah. I originally was... Um, doing um, military uh, software, uh, signal processing, then went on to do telecom software for about 20 years. Mm -hmm. And during that time, of course, uh, the technology trends have come and gone, but um, it was clear that mobility and mobile devices were taking over the world. It's certainly the wave of the present. And seeing the things that today um, just drain people's lives, the, the little things that people have to wait for that mobility can try to solve, that gave me the thought that that would be a good place to try to um, make a difference on, on the world around us. Speaking of making a difference, obviously something that is consistent when it comes to technology is any more consumers are really uh, aware of trying to be efficient, not only with our technology, but with our time, um, getting to do things a little quicker. Is this something you found as you're out there doing your research? Well, absolutely. So if you look at, you know, there are people who do studies on this, and uh, studies would say that in the U.S. there's about 37 billion hours wasted waiting in line each year. That's a long time. For each person, that's, you know, maybe uh, a half an hour a day. But you can see that people are trying to reclaim that time, and they're turning to their mobile devices to try to reclaim that time. And uh, we just want to be there helping them do it. Excellent. I mean, quite honestly, one of the tasks that we do over and over every day, not only by necessity but by enjoyment, is that of uh, eating. Absolutely. And 58%, uh, they say, basically eat out at least once a week. Uh, but yet it takes time. Even if you're going to your local fast food joint, is that usually the case that you see? Even if you're standing in line at a fast food, there's some time to be wasted there. Absolutely. So when we were first starting uh, some uh, research to see whether or not this was a need that needed to be met, uh, we had people positioned in front of lines, drive through lines, to see how much time people were waiting in drive through lines. And during the busy hours, it could be 20 or 30 minutes at some of the popular chains. And so then you go talk to the restaurant owners and you say, well, do you know how much time people are waiting for your food, for your service? And they would say, absolutely, it's a, it's a minute and a half per customer who comes through. And they were measuring time from order to delivery. But that's not the customer experience. The customer experience is when they park themselves in line, whether it's at the walk-up line or at the drive through line. And so the actual customer experience is much more frustrating than really the restaurant managers were regularly measuring. And it's that time that we think that we can reclaim as people order over their phone and then their experience with the restaurant is really about 15 seconds because they've already paid, they've already ordered, they just have to pick up the food and go. That is interesting. So share with me how you're able to use technology. Are we talking about an app that basically can shorten down that time? Is that what you've done? Yeah, it's an app. And so what we're trying to do is say, instead of waiting until you get to the squawk box at a drive through or until you get up to the counter, you have the menu and you can browse through the menu. You can decide what you want. And then you order, you pay. And the only thing that the restaurant needs to do is prepare the food and hand you the bag. Wow, and that so is great. I mean, one of the things I'm thinking here, does this actually increase guest traffic for the restaurant? Well, so studies would show that there is something that you might call a discouragement factor. When people come in to a restaurant or they see a drive through and they're looking for fast food, and especially when you're looking for fast food, fast is the operative word there. And so when they see a long line, they drive on to the next place. Um, without revealing sources, there are some studies that say that there are about, at a busy place, maybe... 20 customers an hour who go on because, because the lines are too long. And so that could be reclaimed. And at a typical fast food place that's operating at about a 15% margin, by being able to reclaim those customers, they could move that 15% uh, margin to about 22% profit margin. So there's definitely benefits for the restaurant here. Let's touch on a few more. What about actually increasing the ticket um, a little bit more, possibly prompting people to know about specials or certain items that they may not know otherwise? Absolutely. There's uh, some experience that shows that an average ticket might go up by about 20% by doing it on a mobile app because not only can you promote your specials, but there is a certain s a sense of intimidation when you're at the line and there's a long line behind you that you've got to order quickly. 
and you don't have time to really peruse and think, oh yeah, you know, maybe that dessert looks good. Maybe that uh, other thing looks good that I want to try. When you're ordering without a line behind you, you have more time to order exactly what you want, which generally means a higher ticket price. What I like about technology is the fact the restaurants have to love it because the fact they're serving their customers better, yet at the same time they're decreasing the labor cost uh, because of the fact that nobody's taking that order, so the technology's working for you. So certainly there's been a lot of uh, talk in the news lately about livable wages at fast food outlets, and, and we certainly listen to that and see this technology as a way of being able to control labor costs as, you know, as the labor costs go wherever they're going to go. Um, there's going to be pressure for those labor costs to go up. And if you can remove unnecessary labor out of the equation and let the people who are working there really focus on creating an excellent customer experience for those who are staying in the restaurant, serving food faster, keeping dining areas, uh, removing from that labor equation the time of taking the card and swiping the card, the time of rekeying into a punch pad um, something that the person already knows what they want and the person can enter it more accurately. You can, you can get rid of all of the errors and those kinds of things that would typically occur. Absolutely. Let me ask you this, Kyle. You're out there as an account executive. You're basically dealing with the public. Um, are the restaurants really looking for a customized approach? Are they looking for something that's user-friendly? And are you able to provide that in this particular app? They definitely are. The restaurant owners are looking for more ways to efficiently interact with their customers. And by having a mobile application, you can do several different ways aside from, you had mentioned earlier, specials. You can push that out, it notifies them with a little favicon at the top of their phone, and we're very familiar with that because that's how we get our email notifications and all that, so it's intuitive for the customer. And they can push out other deals, say um, through a technology called geofencing, if for some reason they're, your customer's out and about and they get within a certain distance from your restaurant, you can send out a special just for them because they're close at that particular time. So it's very interactive, very dynamic, and restaurant owners are very appreciative of having a means of interacting with consumers who are very much into their phones and other technology. There's obviously got to be some power to the fact that you guys are really taking their menu, transforming it, putting it inside of the palm of their hand. It's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, that's got to be a powerful part of it as well. Yeah, customers being able to actually see what they want, as we've talked before, being able to find new items, see what's going on with the menu and the changes, and not being rushed when you're in line, definitely helps the, the customer enjoy their experience with the rest of the month. Also, a better approach than a printed menu, because of the fact that you, you forget something or you want to change it, is this really a living document that can be changed um, via the cloud? Yeah, we've provided the restaurants with the ability to update live what's in their menu so if they run out of something or they want to have a new me new menu item in a particular location they're in control of placing that item as they go along day by day what about actually restaurants that need help to uh, promote that app get it in the hands of folks is that some a service you provide as well yeah we provide a full suite of marketing services to help them out we provide qr codes other text to download codes Wall, wall clings to place within the restaurant to notify their customers and also email advertising, Facebook. We help them design it and so they can implement it to get the word out there that they have this technology. Wonderful. I mean, we've definitely discussed the side of the business, which is many benefits. Going back to the consumer again, share with me uh, a little bit more about how we've made this experience easy for them and uh, what's some of the feedback you've got out there from folks that are able to use it. One of the things that we're really excited about is a voice recognition technology that we're incorporating into our app in partnership with the Redshift company. And this is really focused on pizza um, menus right now because of the commonality of pizza menus across a variety of, uh, of venues. But it would let them pull up the app and just speak the order in and then press checkout and they're done. And so that experience is um, moving something that would have been, uh, you know, going through a drive through or a, a walk-up, it could have been five or 10 minutes, with a tap app might be a, a minute or so to browse the menu and find out what you want, down to a voice app, which is 30 seconds and you're done. And so for the user experience, they, you know, they have other things they want to do on their phone besides order food. They show up, there's a long line, they can order and be in the, in the queue to get their food and not have to wait in that whole long line. Much better experience for them.
much better experience. I know for myself as a consumer, I want to get in and out many times, and it becomes a repetitive task because I don't even need a menu. I know what I like. I know what my favorite is. I'd rather just kick, kick, put it in rather than spend five minutes looking for somebody to take my order. Is that what you find as well? Exactly. Um, the ability to order ahead and then just walk up to the pickup counter, pick up your food and go, uh, really uh, caters to people who are on the go. And, and our society is becoming increasingly um, fast-paced, right? We, we see it all the time uh, over the, I hate to admit how old I am, but over that, those many decades, you know, things have just gotten faster and people are trying to um, squeeze out that last little bit of efficiency out of their time. Uh, like we say, going back to what we said at the beginning, being more efficient all across the board. Viewers, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is their website. That is spfsolutions.biz. You can check out their website, see some of the services and products they're able to offer you there. Obviously, if you're a restaurant that is looking for a way to engage the customer, and you definitely should be because, quite honestly, these are exciting times, but they're also scary times because uh, if you're not doing it, you can rest assured that your competition is. You want to make sure that it's an easy term turnkey process. This company will come in, walk you through it, train the employees if need be, and basically make sure this is something that, um, that you understand. Share with me a little bit. Obviously, we've talked a lot about the folks that are coming in ordering. What about actually patrons that are, are, that are visiting on site? Um, how are we able to engage them? Share with me your display cast. What is that exactly? So display cast is really an advanced type of digital signage that we can offer. Uh, that integrates uh, menu presentations, perhaps uh, the order, what we would call the order ready queue um, to the customers there. So the signage is up and they can incorporate into that live video, they can incorporate uh, canned video, other sorts of advertising. It's just a way for the um, restaurateurs to create a more engaging atmosphere for their customers. So really gone are the days of a little table topper that you try to think, you know, what's going to pertain to someone. But now you've really got something that can address them. Uh, social media, you give them video, uh, give them weather, news, really quite a few different options to keep them um, entertained and enjoying the entire experience. Yeah, exactly. That way they know more of what's going on in the restaurant, but also it can control the menus. So instead of having paper menus up on the wall, you have digital menus that are, again, just as dynamic as what's in the application. So that way the restaurant is, again, saving on printing costs in other areas, but it's also getting more engagement with the customer by being able to see relative updates of what's going on in the restaurant or around them. And also, are you able to save time as well as labor? Because instead of going around picking up table toppers, you can really be, a, the manager could be at his home and actually change some of that. Is that done through the cloud or uh, with an app as well? Yeah, it's done through the cloud, and they can do it from their laptop, from any browser-enabled device. They can change the menus. They can schedule menu changes for the future. They can look at the status of their current uh, activity that's going on. It uh, really gives them control wherever they are. Uh, an eye into the, into the business. Absolutely. Wonderful. Viewers, take a look at the bottom of the screen. The last time you're going to see their website right there, as well as their contact information. Like we said, basically just reach out to them there. They've got a blog if you want to uh, know some of the technology, what they've been doing with it. You can also see some of the um, companies they've partnered up with that are utilizing this technology. And like I said before, it's basically something that you want to make sure you're engaging uh, your customers with. If you just take a look out there, the trend is definitely um, mixing back and forth between a live person as well as engaging them electronically. And this is a company that is definitely doing that. That is SPF Solutions, bringing mobility to life. This is Gary Atensi with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know.